All right, it's time to set up our final export preset and let's get started. This is the export for rejects preset. So basically all the photos that we're rejecting, we're going to export them as JPEG. So at least we still have those photos on hand for a certain period of time in case we need them in the future. But we leave them as exports just to, or as JPEGs just to save on space. So let's get started. We're going to start with our print size preset because uh, that's the closest thing to what we're going to be exporting. And then we're just going to label this different. So let's put it in a different subfolder. This is going to be exported rejects. Go down to file naming. We're going to leave it as uh, the file name, which is going to be unchanged. So it's actually going to be the, the camera file names. Okay. Let's go down to our file settings and we're going to leave this on 100% quality. Once again, we can leave this as sRGB uh, unless your lab, you know, your lab does do. I, I'd say just the safest thing is just leave it on sRGB for you, most of you guys. Okay. Down to image sizing, we're going to leave this at 300 pixels per inch resolution, no resizing or anything like that. We're going to turn off the output sharpening because we want to make sure that these images are saved in a very kind of unadulterated format. So we, want, we don't want to do any changes or anything that are going to manipulate or change that. If we need to at one point sharpen, we'll sharpen later on, but not during this output. All right, so now we go to metadata. Let's include all because we're not giving these to anybody unless we go and reprocess them at some point. And then uh, we, it doesn't matter if you want to remove the location info or not. We can just leave it defaulted. Watermark, definitely make sure that's turned off. Post-processing, again, we're going to leave that as do nothing. Now we save this out again as a new preset 04 exported rejects in the Lightroom or in the LJP workflow. Hit create. And we're done with setting up our export presets. Now let's go to the next video. Where we're going to show you guys how we export this entire catalog at one time.